parked up for the night and uh, got dinner on the go. Just cooking myself a steak, a few mushrooms, onion rings, and uh, a few boiled potatoes. Coffee's made, but to uh, finish work uh, six o'clock this morning, so it's not going to be a late night tonight. After dinner, probably going to uh, have a couple of beers and uh, pull the bed out, lay back and uh, watch TV for the evening. It's dark outside, so I uh, won't be able to show you what it looks like till, uh, till the morning. But uh, I'm on a fairly levelish surface and uh, a few yards uh, back from the main road. And uh, on the side of the van, there's a stream there, a stream running along. Uh, morning all, coming up to uh, to about 10 o'clock. Been up for a couple of hours now, uh, cooked myself breakfast. But uh, slept like an absolute log last night, ever so peaceful, ever so quiet in the car park here. Very few cars uh, coming along the main road. But i um, going to be um, heading towards the Stone Circle uh, shortly. It's, uh, it's only about uh, about a 10 minute uh, drive and then there's, uh, there's a little bit of walking across uh, across the moorland. But uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll get outside, head to the middle of the car park and um, I'll, I'll show you a 360 of, uh, of the location and uh, where I parked to last night.
Well, this is a Brisworthy uh, stone circle, which is uh, a megalithic uh, structure built in the Neolithic uh, period to Bronze Age uh, period and consists of uh, 24 stones. There most likely would have been around 48 stones in total, with uh, many missing. The stone circle was, uh, was restored in the early 1900s. A lot of the stones uh, are missing, a lot was uh, discovered underground and uh, some of them have been replaced with new stones. Hi guys, just pulled over for lunch now, but uh, it's been uh, been a nice morning. Took a look at uh, Brisworthy Stone Circle, Carn Circles, and uh, the Stone Row. They date back to uh, the Neo Neolithic to uh, Bronze Age uh, period. But a uh, little bit of uh, light snow in the air. I'm going to uh, do some dinner now and uh, this afternoon going to look for somewhere nice to um, park up for this evening. I'm parked up for the night now guys and uh, this is the view I've got uh, from the van for the night. Parked up along uh, the main road but um, Hopefully it won't be too busy. Uh, morning guys, just gone 8 o'clock here and um, Slept like a log last night. It was so warm in the van. Heater was set to about number three. Hard frost and uh, the ground is uh, is all white outside. Now the plan was to go to uh, Stormore and uh, take a look at another stone circle, but um, that was about about a two uh, two kilometre walk. So um, I changed the plan. I'm going to be heading to um, Bellstone and uh, can I look at uh, the nine stone circle it's it's more of a carn circle than uh, than a stone circle and uh, that one's about a one kilometer walk uh, from the church about an hour drive but uh, it looks like it's going to be a nice day today clear sky and uh, watch watch the sunrise this morning I'll just show you the view outside before we before we set off This is a nine stone circle and uh, absolute magnificent uh, megalithic uh, structure. It dates back to uh, the Neolithic to uh, Bronze Age uh, period. It's, it's more of a carn circle with a burial in the middle uh, because of the size of the circle. But uh, absolute magnificent uh, piece. 
but uh, I'll just spin the camera around and uh, show you uh, show you around. This is uh, the direction uh, that I came from, about uh, about a 10-15 minute walk uh, from uh, from the van, and uh, it's only uh, only half a mile. But, uh, as you can see, there was a hard frost last night, and uh, also a little bit of uh, snow fell. But uh, there's uh, there's a trick point. There's a couple of guys uh, walking up there. But ab absolutely magnificent, uh, megalithic uh, structure. Right. It was only a short walk from uh, where I parked the van out to uh, the Nine Stone Circle. Magnificent uh, megalithic uh, structure from the Neolithic to uh, Bronze Age uh, period pristine condition. It was only half a mile walk. Turn right. It's half past ten now and um, I'm heading towards the next uh, next location. And uh, the next one on my list is uh, the Grey Weathers uh, Stone Circle. And uh, I'm going to head, head towards Changford, head out towards uh, Fedworthy Reservoir, park up and uh, I think I've got to uh, walk through the forest and uh, the stone circles the other side of the forest. But uh, that's, a, that's another one that uh, should be in uh, pristine condition. We'll see you when we get to, uh, get to the stir circle. Well this is the Grey Weathers uh, stone circles. And uh, not far from uh, the Fernworthy uh, Reservoir. Took about an hour walk to uh, get out to the circles, but uh, magnificent uh, megalithic uh, structures. And uh, they date back to uh, the Neolithic to uh, Bronze Age uh, period. But uh, these, these circles are in excellent condition. The one on the right hand side being slightly bigger than the, than the circle on the left hand side. to um, the Grey Weathers uh, stone circles. Magnificent uh, megalithic uh, structure. Um, and uh, being in it's uh, a double circle, it's, uh, it's, it's even better result. But uh, it dates back to, uh, to the Neolithic to, uh, to Bronze Age uh, period. Just driving along the uh, Fern uh, Reservoir at the moment, but uh, heading to the next location. And uh, the next one on the list is uh, Spinster's uh, Rock. Uh, it's a large rock balanced on the top of the... Uh, I think it's uh, three rocks that stood vertical. Half an hour drive uh, from, uh, from the Grey Weathers uh, stone circles to, uh, to Spinster's Rock. And it's about, uh, about nine, ten miles. But, uh, not sure what it's going to be like to, to park, but um, hopefully we're going to be able to find somewhere to work to park up for the evening.
Alright guys, about uh, half past uh, five now and uh, I've parked up for the evening. Quite a little car park just off of the main road with a spectacular view. Temperatures uh, dropping pretty fast at the moment. No doubt there's uh, going to be a frost again tonight. Uh, morning guys, just gone 9 o'clock, slept like a log last night, I've had me bacon and egg roll for breakfast and um, it was clear skies most of the night and turned cloudy, temperature wasn't uh, wasn't too cold at all and um, had the heater on the setting number 2 and um, it was absolutely perfect. But um, just gone 9 o'clock, the plan for today is to head to another stone circle got to try and find it yet but this one's a uh, butter and hill stone circle and uh, where I park up to near the farm is about a mile walk along a grass track and uh, the stone circle is just off to the side if time permits I will be heading to Whitemore stone and uh, Whitemore stone circle is just uh, a little bit further to, to walk along, uh, along, the, along the grass track but um, these these stone circles are um, they're more they're less frequent uh, visited. Uh, some of the stones uh, maybe uh, maybe on their sides uh, rather than um, rather than stood up vertical. But uh, gonna make another cup of coffee. Just do do the dishes, and uh, hopefully I'll be on my way in the next uh, next fifteen minutes. Hi guys, just gone quarter past ten and uh, I've parked up in a little parking area just outside uh, Score Hill Farm and uh, it's about a mile walk out to the Stone Circle. gone up past 11 and uh, not long got back to the van made a cup of coffee and um, that was at Scar Hill um, 
stone circle I just showed you. Uh, it's, a, it's a megalithic structure uh, dating back to the Neolithic to uh, Bronze Age period and it's in excellent condition. But uh, the plan was to go to uh, Burton Hill Stone Circle, which is uh, which is all fallen over. It's only just a handful of stones that stood up vertical, and uh, head across to Whitemore Stone and uh, Whitemore Stone Circle. Where it's not that nice out there, so um, gonna leave those uh, cut those two stone circles uh, for another day. It's been a great uh, three nights away in Dartmoor, and uh, really enjoyed myself some great walks, looking for uh, megalithic uh, structures, uh, these uh, stone circles, they look absolutely magnificent, but uh, my journey doesn't end here, and uh, the, the, I will be continuing uh, looking for more uh, megalithic uh, structures, there's more stone circles on the list, uh, there's more places to visit, so I hope you enjoyed uh, some of the some of the stone circles that I've, I've showed you, because I've certainly enjoyed uh, going to see them. But uh, I'm going to say thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to uh, give us a thumbs up, share the video, and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.